with Thomas Keyboy, Weather Rate certified 11 years in a row. Okay, a huge fan, I'm assuming, Thomas. Yeah, one of the best to ever do it. Said the soccer world definitely lost an icon today. Most definitely. All right. First look at the forecast. Well, as we move throughout the next day or so, we got a lot of changes in store. But in northern Utah, we picked up a little bit of a break today, actually seeing some blue sky and an absolutely beautiful view from Cherry Peak right now as the sun is getting ready to completely dip over the horizon. In Logan, we're sitting at 34. It's 38 degrees in Salt Lake City, 32 in Provo, 39 in St. George. Our daytime highs today. We're very close to our seasonal averages, but over the next couple of days, our temperatures are actually going to be running a little bit warmer thanks to a warm front that's going to be moving through by tomorrow afternoon. In the meantime, though, while northern Utah has been calmer, southern Utah has still been looking at times of wet weather, a soggy evening at Zion National Park. So if you're in southern Utah, just make sure that you're extra careful out on the roadways as we will be looking at times of rain and snow. And you can actually see in southwestern Utah, actually a decent amount of showers moving through with this isolated showers in southeastern Utah and a few isolated showers trying to develop in northern Utah, so we'll keep an eye on that. But if you're driving safe from St. George up towards Beaver near the I-15, I-70 interchange, just use caution out on the roadways. Now let's go ahead and begin the future cast 7 o'clock this evening, and I think we're going to hold on to a decent chance for wet weather, mainly in southern Utah over the next few hours, maybe just a stray shower in northern Utah. Things calm down during the overnight hours with the exception of southeastern Utah, but we do have a system that's going to be tapping into the atmospheric river in the Pacific that's going to be moving in by tomorrow morning in the form of a warm front and 8 o'clock tomorrow morning along the I-15 corridor. We can be talking about mainly times of snow, including the Wasatch Front, so be careful for that early morning commute, but as that warm front moves through, the warmer air will start to surge in, so in the northern two-thirds of the state, we're likely going to see all snow transition over to valley rain and mountain snow. That snow line will continue to increase possibly by the afternoon to around 6,6500 feet and the wet weather is going to persist because we have a couple of waves of energy that are going to be moving through and I'll stop this at three o'clock in the morning on Saturday where in central and southern Utah could get a little bit of a break, but still can't rule out the chance for wet weather. Then from Saturday into Sunday, we have another system that's going to be moving in from the west. That warm front will keep us with mainly valley rain and mountain snow, but going from Saturday into Sunday, when this system starts to move through on the backside, the colder air will start to move in. Then that valley valley rain could transition back over to valley snow. So along the Wasatch front could start off as Snow first thing tomorrow, then tra transitioning to valley rain and mountain snow, which will persist through Saturday and then possibly back to snow on Sunday. But in our mountains, it's going to be exclusively snow, especially above 7,000 feet. Winter storm warnings will go into effect from the central mountains through the northern mountains starting tomorrow morning, lasting through 5 o'clock in the morning on Monday. This is going to be a prolonged event. Meanwhile, for the southern mountains, we'll begin Saturday afternoon and will continue through Sunday evening. One to three feet of additional snowfall expected in our northern and central mountains with possibly over four four feet of snow possible for the cottonwoods, 5 to 12 inches for the Wasatch back, isolated up to 2 feet like around Park City, 8 to 16 inches for the southern mountains, isolated up to 30, and high avalanche danger will persist in, in the Bear River range and also for southwestern Wyoming. A winter weather advisory will begin tomorrow. Meanwhile, for Cache Valley and eastern Box Elder County, where the temperatures will stay cooler a little bit longer, a winter weather advisory will begin tomorrow morning and will last through Friday night as we will be seeing times of accumulations there. It is going to be quite busy, but as I mentioned before, Friday, mainly snow in the morning for the Wasatch Front transitioning to valley rain and mountain snow on Saturday, mainly valley rain and mountain snow expected with that snow line approximately between 6,000 6,500 feet. Then with that colder air moving in on Sunday, we could see that valley rain transition back into snow. But for tomorrow, daytime highs a little bit above our seasonal averages and just about everywhere we will have a decent chance of picking up some wet weather in St. George, a slight chance of rain on our Friday with a good with a better chance for rain on Saturday and the best chance in St. George looks to be on Sunday, just a slight chance on Monday before we bring back a better chance by the middle of next week. Then along the Wasatch Front, snow and rain for our Friday, mainly rain on Saturday, and then back to rain and snow on our Sunday for New Year's Day.